What's up everyone, Patrick here, and in today's video I'll be showing you how to use ExpressVPN on a Mac computer, that is Mac OS. Now ExpressVPN is one of the top tier available VPN services available today, and I do have some videos on a few other ones which I will be sure to link down in the description. I also include a link directly to ExpressVPN's website so you can check it out for yourself. Now. Getting right into it, the process is very straightforward, much like any other VPN or like using ExpressVPN on a Windows computer. You just head over to expressvpn.com in your web browser, and from here you can either sign up or log into an existing account that you already have. And once you do that, it'll bring you into your main dashboard and from your dashboard you'll be able to actually download the Mac application itself. Now Express is a little different in that it has a key that you need to copy and paste into the downloader after you've already installed it. So first thing we'll do is click on Mac and then download it and we'll download the package file directly to our computer. Now whenever that is done downloading we can go ahead and open that up and start the installation process. You're going to go ahead and hit continue on these first few steps and then install. Now, once the installation has finished, it's just a matter of going back to your dashboard and grabbing that activation code you'll see on the right side of the screen. You can simply copy and paste that directly into your ExpressVPN app and then you can continue from there. You'll actually be able to sign in officially, and then it will link your account to this application on this device. So you go ahead and hit continue to continue setting up your VPN, and then Apple will prompt you with an allow or don't allow as far as using this as a VPN connectivity. You'll go ahead and hit allow, and from here you can go ahead and determine whether or not you want to share statistics and other information. And then you're prompted by the ExpressVPN main window. Now clicking on the power button will allow you to connect directly to a smart connection, which is just simply the best rated connection for your device and location and connectivity. So it has a few different things that play into effect here, whether it's your connection speed, your destination, or a few of these other settings. So from here you can see the smart location that it automatically detects and then clicking on this and then the three dots will allow you to bring up a full list of all the available locations. Now these are just locations that servers are available in. It starts off with recommended but then you can go ahead and click on the all tab at the top center and get a list of all of the countries that are available and then some of these countries have drop down menus. You'll see a little arrow next to the country flag just to the left and that will show you when you click on it the full list of servers in that country. Now clicking on any one of these will auto connect to that country and the smartest location or best location or server within that country. And then of course clicking on the power button again once you're connected will disconnect you from that server. Now clicking on the hamburger icon in the top left will bring you to your preferences and this is just general settings for the ExpressVPN app that you can go through ranging from general protocols, account, shortcuts, browser, and advanced. And that just allows you to change the protocols you're attaching to servers with. By default, it's automatic, which is usually what I recommend, especially if you're not as technically oriented or don't understand the different connections available. And then going through and checking out some of these other settings are pretty straightforward. All you have to do is read the info that's prompted with it and it explains itself. Now heading back to the main menu, you can click on the smart location again. You have your list of favorites below and then it connects you right away. Now that is how to download, install, and use ExpressVPN on your Mac OS computer or laptop. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to give it a like and I'll include a link down in the description, like I said before, to expressvpn.com so you can check it out for yourself. And what's really cool is they do offer a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you're not happy with the service, you can always try out a different VPN service and not have to worry about spending money that you don't want to waste on a service you're not happy with. But with that said, ExpressVPN is one of the best in the world when it comes to providing great customer care and a fantastic, secure and discreet VPN service for browsing and using online. So be sure to give the video like, like I said, and subscribe to the channel for other helpful VPN videos just like this one. And until next time, thanks for watching.